honestly, guys, I came back from the generation of watching the Jetsons. Um, if that gives you an idea of my age. Um, but I love the Jetsons. And one of the things that I wished and hoped for was uh, the for, for us to develop flying cars. Okay? Yeah, that would be so awesome. Man, I would love it. If we can just jump in a drone or a helicopter or some kind of car chopter or something and just fly off and get to our next destination safely and in such a short amount of time without all this traffic and congestion and stuff that we've got nowadays that would have been like my dream come true you know so who knows i hope that i live long enough to live like the jetsons um i think it'd be awesome 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 all right guys so this is the comma 3x 2024 honda ridgeline at nighttime driving it is uh 5 30 p.m and we're on a busy uh freeway interstate um we're coming up to a truck over here it does its thing it stays pretty centered i'm going to bump this up a little bit and i always keep my hands on the steering wheel when you're next to a truck because you just never know if they're gonna cross your your lane and get into your path like they're crazy man um so always always hold on to your steering wheel when you're near a truck um right now it's self-driving so it's working out really good um it's dark out there guys okay it's, it's pretty much the sun has set about an hour ago comma 3x right there lane lines to the left are uh looking really good okay so that's the lane lines looking at the rear view mirror over here um looks great and just wanted to give you a a, a sample here of what it's like doing the nighttime driving on the comma ai and it sees really well um, the camera built into this uh, hardware for self-driving is pretty pretty clear. Like it can see through heavy rain. Um, right now it's it's a light mist of rain, but it's pretty clear. And um, on the right, if you look in the lane lines, that is the lane lines on the right, right there. And it gives you plenty of room to pass other vehicles. It stays in its path quite well. So that's what it's like and again we're on a busy freeway part of uh interstate 5 up here in seattle i just dropped my son off at university of washington and i'm driving back uh up home and um again it does really well um self-driving at night as it does during the day i'm gonna even in the left lane like it does its own lane changes guys that's pretty cool okay so when i turn on the left lane it will actually go over one um now i just always kind of get a little bit finicky and things like that i just want to make sure that it stays in my lane so again when you're near any big trucks or high congestion always always make sure you're ready to take control of that wheel at all times okay it's just imperative for your life for your own safety yes it's nice that it's got some self-driving features and things like that but honestly you gotta like ultimately your life is in your hands and you cannot 100 percent rely on um software hardware uh ai to keep you alive in any type of driving situation whether it's a tesla full self-driving it's like really full self-driving okay great but it's not 100 percent you know accurate in terms of its predictions with all these external factors going on in in life around you while you're driving right so this is nighttime driving wanted to give you guys a sample about it um hov lanes here to the left <clears throat> i am in the left lane next to the hov lane and again it's doing really well um, I'm gonna turn off this light here so you can kind of maybe see see how dark it is. But yeah, it's really dark out here. Um, anyways, I hope you learned something from this video. Um, awesome, you know. I, 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 you know, my goal is to kind of like educate, teach you guys, show you guys some new technology, some new cool things that I got from my vehicle. I had this in my Prius Prime and I loved it, and I switched it over into my Honda Ridgeline. And that's the main reason why I bought my Honda Ridgeline was because I could add self-driving features to it. Now, it does drive with the stock OEM, um, you know, lane keep assist or whatever you want to call it. Um, it does drive and it does do okay, but 
it's better using this comma 3x um, so you know it, it, it does a really good job I can control and the pacing I can control the distance of the vehicle in front of me and that's what I love about it so um, just want to give you a sample there's a right curve here it's coming up it's a uh, pretty actually pretty good right curve you can see the steering wheel kind of steering quite a bit to the right <clears throat> I don't need to assist it on freeway speeds if I'm going about the freeway speed I'm going about 60 miles per hour right now and it's doing just fine it's got another curve coming up here to the left it's going to do just fine as well without my assistance so um yeah it's loving it guys um it's pretty cool i'm excited about these new technologies that are coming out and what they can do for our vehicles i honestly hope automobile uh, manufacturers uh, improve vehicles to be so much more safer on the roads um for for all of us drivers really uh, but um i think that's important you know these safety sensing devices and eventually just to be stock self-driving you know